right, get up and get loud. It's game day. People is here in Europe. I want to start things off with Singularity taking on TSM two one win teams looking to improve and try to stay out of that auto relegation spot at the bottom of the league. I'm Wave Punk joined here by Chiefs and Chiefs. Give us some thoughts about these people. They 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 both have had moments of brilliance. The Singularity we thought like oh these are, this is the, going to be the new hotness here in Europe and now I'm starting to think that uh, upset of Vitality is a fluke. Yeah, I, I, I also thought that, you know, Singularity would come in here, have a lot more effectiveness in terms of the offensive production side of things, but uh, I, I expected that to come to a head when they played Veloce last week, right? And it's like, great, Veloce plays very similar to TSM, you know, it's a very counter-attack based team, and then they just got clapped 3-0, and it was a fairly low-scoring affair, and the offense really didn't get much done, so I don't know what to think about that. But at the same time, during the European Invitational, you have TSM losing 0-3 to Notorious Legion, a middle of the pack rival series team, and Singularity mm. winning in game five against Vitality. So, you know, maybe uh, in the past couple weeks, Team Singularity picks it up, the offense comes out to play, and I'm not sure if TSM has the, the mechanical ability to hang in the same way that Veloce did against the Singularity roster. Well, we'll see. TSM can answer a lot of questions here as they got their first win last week against winless Monaco. But the you know path back to success doesn't have the first step doesn't have to be pretty, and they could build a lot of momentum if they were able to get a win here. See some early pressure from Singularity. We got Singularity in the blue, TSM in the orange. As they get it past one, Remco and goal in the breakout will get one block. Now though, looking for a pass in field doesn't find much contact. Godsmell as Dominus will just play it to the side wall before TSM will advance onto offense. Only now, the loft, though, following this one, tracking along with Remco. Remco gets it past two. Noli will have a lot of space. Gets it up to though. Sends it to the backboard. Metzenar is not much contact, but though's able to keep it high and into the corner. Now Godsmilla. And one more time, Remco gets it away. Nolly to try and challenge. See if you can find another one. Nolly and though both high on this wall, which leaves the entire ground open to just Godsmilla, but he gets a pass too. Looks for the drop oh, down, yes. gets it in. What a shot from Godsmilla. Fantastic shot here from Godsmilla, and it's that midfield defense. Metz is just a smidge too late, and Magnus knows it's going to be a tough battle. As soon as his teammate doesn't get a touch on that ball, directly above him, power sliding into the net, just hoping he's in the right spot, but no chance. Godsmilla, the perfect shot. And Singularity start off with a wonderful bit of pressure. Learn to trying to continue it here as Nolly gets another one following kickoff, just carries it through the air. 2-0 Singularity. Yeah, pings right back to him off the kickoff where he's waiting on the wall. And Nolly, just fantastic first touch off the wall. Not a lot of power on it. Had plenty of time to go and get that follow-up touch and then stick it close to the car and finesse that one into the left side of the net. Beautiful stuff. Metzenaris now. TSM looking to bounce back. We're at 3 minutes 30 seconds. They have yet to score. They've had a few decent opportunities, but nothing that's really turned into a good shot on target. Metzenaris puts it to his corner. Then tries to slow carry this out. Just keeps it high, seeing if he can get any defenders to come on in, but nobody really bites. They just stay on the ground, stay patient. Now Godsmill looking for a carry to though. Though sends it towards the goal, but it's a bit wide and Remco's can easily handle it. Comes back down for Metzenaris. It'll be Nolly here in the corner. Remco tries, doesn't get much power on this ball, and it will travel just lightly in front of the box. A miss from Magnus on defense and from Metzenaris on the wall. Godsmill is taking his time, actually leaves it for though, and he just sends it into the net all by himself. Nobody's home. Defense just Swiss cheese here. I have offense absolutely clicking. Godzilla wins the ball. Magnus is off there as he was trying to drive away and take that challenge against off the wall. The other player stuck in the corner grabbing boost, and the demo coming through in the midfield means Singularity has a pretty much free walk to the net, and so we'll turn that one in. Nolly now through the air. I think he got the flip reset. Going to take the shot. Nearly makes it work. Two defenders go. Though gets the pass across. Here's Godsmell to push it back onto the backboard once more. Though will send it away on a pinch back into his own half. And a desperate attempt there from TSM is just enough to turn away the offense. Singular to look for that fourth goal. And here they come again. Nolly sends it from midfield. Though now countered by Magnus. Over to Remco. Can he get the pass back? Looks for the bumps himself. But Remco's shot is wide no matter what happens. It wasn't going in. That was oh, the God's first Miller. chance that TSM really got to have 
trying to even be on offense all game. They've got one shot in over three minutes of play now, and they haven't done anything. This is exactly what I thought was going to happen with, T uh, with Team Singularity versus Veloce, but you're getting it here versus TSM. 150 on the clock. Nolly. The long clear. Sends it across and into the orange. Now Metsonaris. Back down to the corner. Remco. The shot from the corner. Deflected by the defense. And now the transitional rotation shut down. Magnus comes back in. Godsmilla across midfield. Though. Was already in enemy territory. Gets it around. Gets the pass out. It's past Metsonaris. Nolly onto the backboard. Magnus has got a reach for this one. Doesn't even make contact. And Remco's got to bail him out on the goal line. Couple of tough saves for TSM on defense, and finally maybe working out here with the pass into the middle. Metsonoris back to Magnus, oh, trying to force it through. Rimko hey. has the open net, and they actually do get the counterattack. I thought there was going to be one too many passes here. Metsa going back to Magnus. I thought Nolly for sure was going to be able to get a piece of that, but they make the challenges work, and a decent enough counterattack from TSM gets them on the board. Well, I think it works out. Remco stays aggressive after getting the initial pass. He doesn't rotate all the way back, knowing they have to get a goal there. He says, well, leave the defense wide and try to just commit all three of your players on offense. It turns into a goal for him with one minute remaining. If Metzenars can find one right here, they've got themselves right back in this game. They do have to find one quickly to give themselves time to equalize. But the first goal was a pretty one from TSM. As Magnus lofts this. Nolly's up, plays it to the corner. Metzenaris onto an empty backboard. Nolly's got to get up quickly. Makes the touch. Metzenaris with a miss, though, will pick up his corner boost and then look for the dribbles. Just try to burn time as he gets it past one. Magnus doesn't really challenge, and it's off the wall into empty space. Magnus now out to Remco. Looking to transition. Remco with a second touch towards the goal. Nolly with the save. Out to, though. A long stretch. Nolly will look to bump Metzenaris. It's back down in the corner. Though now to Godsmill on the backboard, the shot towards the goal. An excellent placement from Godsmill, not quite between the posts, but with 12 seconds left, they don't really need to score again. The pressure will be enough unless TSM can break out immediately. This game's going to be going in favor of Singularity. They are trapped and just flopping on the goal line here. So TSM going to drop game number one. We'll have to go to number two. And to me, this game was... At, oh, wait, does Thoe get this? Okay, Magnus finds the clear. Ollie knocks it down. Okay. Anyway, uh, this game, 100%. Uh, I got to give the win over to Thoe. That dude being the biggest nuisance ever for TSM as they're trying to clear that ball. All he is doing, it, it, he'll hit the ball. The ball's going to go around the backboard or across the goal line. He's going to sweep through and go for the demo, steal the boost on the other side. And by the time he gets over there, TSM has just cleared it right back towards the way he was going, and he just takes away the follow-up touch from TSM. So Tho's sitting here being just this gnat sitting in front of the TSM <laughs> defense, just like, no, you don't get to touch the ball and bring it out into the midfield or even try the passing play. It's like, that, that dude's just a brick wall just saying, you got to get it through me first. And after they did that, they're so worried about Tho being right there that like Godzilla and Nolly just give them space because they're TSM are trying to react to that initial speed of Tho, mm. and then they just let them hand them the ball, and that's what resulted in you know three and a half minutes of TSM with no offense. Yeah, no, man, I I feel like Singularity right now just has better field awareness than TSM does. The, the first goal of the game was this beautiful Godsmilla kind of like guillotine style drop there on the backboard and that was set up yeah. with both Nolly and though over on the sidewall like tightly positioned in enemy territory on the wall like if there's any situation the TSM should be like oh we should hold on to this ball we should try to control this they should have but they, they didn't even touch it on the wall that was TSM passed it out to Godsmilla Godsmilla was just, just got a free one so I feel like TSM maybe just be a little bit more aware of their surroundings and of the situation they're in. They could avoid giving up goals and getting clipped on because that was definitely a highlight play from Godsmiller. Definitely a strong opener for sure. That was all set up by that, that demo on Remco in the midfield. And they had, yeah, one guy on the sidewall and the other one going for boost. So just, yeah, after that demo, nobody in position to handle anything. And again, we're picking up right where we left off in game two, singularity on offense. As we get it started up here on Neo Tokyo, Singularity still looking strong. Remco with a miss of Magnus has to retreat to try to catch this. Godsmilla gets it across and they nearly find the shot, but Metzenaris will get in and block it. 
Nolly up to challenge, and they'll kill it in the midfield. Remco with a pass across to nobody, though. We'll send it all the way back into the orange by himself. Magnus will have first touch, and Metzenars will look to extend this one in the midfield. Gets both defenders up, but Nolly gets enough of a clear. This should result in the rest of Singularity getting back and sorted on defense. Metzenars onto the backboard once more. Godsmilla gets second touch on it off the wall. And now with another clear. And TSM, now after the first minute of play, TSM starts to gain a bit of an offensive control. But all of their contact going onto the backboard and was easily handled by Singularity. Great touch there from Godsmilla. It's just hanging on to position, possession of the ball. And again, though, the challenges from Singularity are just brutal in this series so far against TSM. They just can't seem to figure out how to take the ball away. So in the midfield, tempted by the boost, but holds on to control instead, sends it towards the backboard and gets Metzenaris to go. Now Godsmilla in a similar position, a little bit more boost in the tank, but not as solid of a contact, and Remco is able to get it back to midfield. Now though, and once more, high of the goal for a third time. Now Godsmilla with a follow-up shot, the clears, TSM have been solid, but the responsive positioning from Singularity, they are able to get control every single time. And now Godsmilla oh, through the go. air with a half a tank to work with. Can he find the goalies? No. Magnus gets up and makes the save, though. Pressure back into the box once more. Remco's clear is going to be over to Metzenaris just enough to get it into the blue. And now a scoring opportunity. Godsmilla lofts it high, but here comes Magnus. Shot towards the upper 90, though, makes the diving save. And Nolly now will look for the transition. Shut down by Remco. TSM starting to heat up. Oh, they get him? Okay, Magnus was indeed back, but you're absolutely right. TSM, that was a decent counterattack to get him started, and that's close to an open goal. Ooh. Remco denied, though, diving across out of the corner. Big save. That's an gets back down quickly to see if he can keep this offensive drive going. They got two defenders to bite about 15 seconds ago, and they dove heavily for this ball, and that opened up that scoring opportunity, but luckily the defense on the goal line for Singularity stands up strong again. And we're still scoreless across halftime. Magnus trying to change that through the air, but Nolly shuts him down again. Now Nolly back to though. Loses control, Metzenaris onto the wall. Though will be able to pick it up again. Magnus just lofts at midfield. Godsmilla up, what? completely whiffs. Nolly's got to fly back quickly to bail him out. With 1.45 on the clock, TSM still looking for that first goal. Remco with a slow play. Godsmilla gets the clear and sends it away. Hans Miller running out of the boost there in the midfield. Definitely a, a minor <laughs> setback here as it prevents Singularity from regaining possession. They're having to battle out of their own half in the oh. final 90 seconds. Fennec 1v1 on the side is just enough for Magnus to let the rest of his team get back on the defense. Nolly versus Remco on the wall. Nolly got called off, but then has to look for stall play again. Godsmilla punts it high. The defense from TSM playing in a precarious position, but not a ton of pressure from Singularity. This drops down once more, though. Doesn't have the reach. Godsmilla is up for it. He's going to need a second touch if he wants to score. Metzenaris now with the clear. Nolly oh, gets the one without a boost. Godsmilla got the demo. Here comes Del for it, but Metzenaris just flies from midfield straight up and makes the diving save in the air over his back shoulder. What a play. And now, though, onto the backboard once more. 40 seconds left, nobody having scored here in game number two. Singularity got the winning game one. Can they make it 2-0 here and get on match point early in the series? 30 seconds remaining. Godsmilla up. Magnus with this touch. Nolly over to Tho. The stretch. Can he find the second touch? No, he's out of boost. Nolly gets Ooh. up, nearly finds the goal. That was insane. Open. Here comes Godsmilla. Magnus blocks. Tho touches it over the top of Remco to buy Nolly time on the back line. Here comes Metzenaris, but Nolly's now up. He's got the full tank and ready to go. 10 seconds left. Magnus through the air, but Nolly's up as well. Galled off by Godsmilla. Now back in the midfield. Ball just lofted. Nobody gaining ground. The shot went the last minute blocked by Remco. Godsmilla will try to keep it in the air. It's zero seconds, but Metzenaris sends it down. Remco puts it into the corner. We've got overtime in game two. Man, hats off to Magnus. That was one heck of a hero save, and TSM will get the ball to start OT. Nolly following this down. Metzenaris. Now onto the backboard, though with an excellent response. And Nolly trying to pick up ball control, but actually missed contact. And he misses it again. Now it's up to Godsmill here on the back line. Stalls it out, but Magnus will move up. Gets the pass over. No, it's above Remco's head. 
Nolly will look for the clears. Godsmillan, though, both up for this. They put a lot of pace on this ball, so Magnus doesn't get an immediate counter touch, and though manages to read that block from a mile away. Now, though, Airborne again gets it over the top of Magnus, and what could have been a scoring opportunity for TSM turns into nothing. Nolly with it across. It's an open net. Magnus dives back and puts it to the corner. Those up. Now, can he find a pass to a teammate? He's up one more time and puts it across. It. Now dropping down, Godsmilla over one into the box. Magnus makes the save. The defense just enough as Godsmilla puts so much pressure on them. Thought Godsmilla for sure was going to be able to muscle that one through. I thought Rimka was definitely beat on that shot. But again, so doing work to get the ball in scorable positions in overtime. And that TSM defense holding strong still, despite what I may or may not think. Not only in the midfield. Tried to stall it off the ceiling. Lost control on the second touch. Now Godsmilla, one flick. Not gonna find a second one. The shot from Metzenaris just completely misreads. Doesn't make contact. We'll have another opportunity onto the backboard. Remco's rotating for boost and for control, but Nolly and though now on the counter attack, Magnus makes the top hit. Now looking for the pass over, Remco keeps it into the blue. Godsmilla should be able to get this Ooh. through the front line. Metzenaris airborne, Nolly's up first though, beats him on one. Can he find the read? No, Remco's touch is just enough. He nearly had him. Though, onto the backboard, Magnus may, continues to make these touches. I keep waiting for them to make a mistake, but every time on defense, they make the touch. Now though, over one, Godsmilla bumps out Remco, but Magnus is still there and TSM holds on. And Singularity trying their best. They're catching TSM. Plenty of times just stuck on the goal line, trying to force them to use boost and keep that ball high to a point where eventually they'll be so boost starved they won't be able to make the play. And then the double tap will come through. So digging it out of the corner for God's Miller. Oh, 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 Nolly gets blocked by Remco. A savior medal for him in overtime is worth through a half a game of Rocket League. What? The shot from God's Miller. That's the one that goes in after all this time. Okay, the one goal game for Singularity gives them match point. God's Miller with no boost. Remco jumping and thinking Godzilla was just going to go jump up, like double jump or jump and fly to that ball and just put it into the goal and then realize Godzilla wasn't going anywhere. He's stuck to the ground and has to backflip and then TSM just crumble. Just like that. I, if you, uh, that's, <laughs> that's seven saves, two savior medals here for TSM, particularly Magnus was lights out on the goal line and I fully expected this to be a game that was decided by one defender just misreading by a pixel and it going in. I did not expect all three of them to miss the ball in the goal. Like it was just going to be one player, right? Not all three players there. My goodness, TSM play a wonderful defensive game for seven and a half minutes and then fall apart in one moment. Singularity yeah. takes the win. That's exactly it. They actually really did play a pretty sound defensive game, it, despite Singularity continually coming across, making a lot of takeaway touches, keeping it in that offensive side. But to have that one go in, that one cuts deep because that is that it hurts worse because now you're on match point and you're like, dear Lord, why why does this happen to us? And, and you see, that's what you're thinking if you're a TSM fan. It's just like, why? Why does that yeah. have to be the goal that puts us on match point? And now you have to reverse yeah. sweep singular. But overall, yeah, which, it came to much better. It was it was definitely an improvement, um, keeping them shut out there, not allowing the three goals early on. TSM looking a little bit better, but still nothing, no scoring, completely shut out there. And, and the, a few decent opportunities that they were able to put up were pretty sufficiently adequately handled by SNG. So we'll see if TSM's able to get us to a game four as they have no more lives left. Singularity looking for that sweep, hungry to start off this week with a strong performance. After so many kind of counted them out after last week. Through one, Remco. As TSM starts on offense. Though over Denali. A soft touch out, but Magnus is the one who's there. Set the shot on target, though made the block, and now Remco in the corner. It'll be Godsmello to play it back around. Metzenaris up high. Two defenders go. Oh, my mm. goodness. I can't believe they get away with this one for free. As Magnus now pressuring. Seeing if he can extend this opportunity on offense just a little bit longer. Metzenaris up once more. Remco's there, but Godsmill on the back wall's got this one. And Remco needs to make a touch as Nolly is breathing down his neck. Now into the corner, though. Looks for the pass outwards. And Godsmill looks <laughs> for it again. Just a diving touch, but Metzenaris beats him. 
I respect that God's Miller went for that. I mean, when you see a crazy couple of touches come out of your team like that one, you know, you, it depends on what type of player you are. Do you feel like sending it and going for the clip shot? Or do you just say like, nah, man, that one's not worth it. And God's Miller absolutely was going for the clip shot. He got, him in one, he got himself one in game one. See if he can get a few more. Another of my favorite moments. Here comes Godsmill looking for another shot. Metzanaris has him beat cleanly, and those got to make a stop on defense. Metzanaris tries to bump though off of it, but he does make just enough contact. Now Magnus with a turn, a demolition on a Godsmill as he moves across the field. Remco moves in to take over ball duty. He gets the pass to Metzanaris, but the shot is completely wide. The defense doesn't even have to do anything. Now Nolly looking for a transition. Half a tank still, but Magnus quick aerial read over to Metzanaris onto the backboard. Godsmill misses. Remco shoots and scores. Oh. No, no. Godsmiller recovers, makes the stop. Oh my goodness. And Tho got bumped out. That's why I thought for sure it was going to be a goal. And this one slips through Remco in the midfield. And now Nolly can make something happen. He tries to drop it down. Magnus stays good in the air on the goal line. And Godsmilla, the punt onto the backboard, looks for the bump on Metzanaris. But Metzanaris gets the clear. Now Nolly onto an open net. Remco quickly adjusts and is able to get some defensive stance. Magnus in the midfield gets it over the top of Nolly. Continues just to keep this ball floaty. Can Godsmilla find this touch? No, it's oh. just Magnus the whole way. You're kidding. He he just absolutely dances around him. Dodging the demos, a little fake. Oh, the, the oh. jump, rotating the car upside down. The Using the double jump to get back to the ground faster. Flipping it back over and hitting him with the quick flick. Ooh, that was gross. I, that started all the way in his own half. I don't think Singularity touched the ball, and for the first time, TSM has a lead. Can they hold on to it here in game three? Remco advances on the Godsmilla. Though over the edge, Remco stretching. Although over one, back down. Magnus stalls it in his own half. Remco's a demolition on a nollie. Godsmilla comes in, the touch is neutral, pops very high. Will be Though diving across. Magnus now to the edge. Godsmilla with a shot from midfield just wide. Remco will look for a counter touch. And now at midfield, though, passes across to Nolly. He's going to try and ride this one up the wall. Nobody's challenging him, but he thinks somebody is, so he's going to dive in for this haphazardly. Though now on the wall, pinches wow. it. What a touch to send him back to the corner and break up what was an immediate counter attack coming in. Absolutely. What a touch is right. I mean, that one gets punched over your shoulder at a quick pace, and you got to get around to the opposite end of the ball and still find the double tap to kick it into the corner. That's a high degree of difficulty, to say the least. Magnus and Remco on the front line offense. Not able to do much more than put the ball into the ceiling. Metzanaris will send one nice and long <gasps> over. Here comes Magnus. The miss from Godsville on the backboard's enough, and Magnus scores. And you're thinking, no pressure. As soon as Tho gets that demo, the call out is, don't worry about it, nobody's coming. And then you miss the ball, and all of that gets thrown out the window. That is a, you, you can't miss that one if you got Smilla. You, it doesn't matter what touch you got there, as long as you didn't completely miss, you were gonna be okay. You can make up for it on the other end here with a kickoff goal, though. Gets the pass out, is Nolly there? No, he's on the far side. And TSM will stave off the kickoff attempt. And now looking for a th third goal. Remco leaves it for Magnus. It's lofted in front of the box. But Godsmilla should have this one and gets it off to the corner. Now Nolly looking for the plays. Balled by Metzanaris, though. The dunk's there. Remco sends the shot. The Godsmilla, though, combo gets the stop again. Magnus through one. Though gets baited out. Magnus now versus Godsmilla here in the corner. The flip reset off the ceiling. Not going to matter here as it stays over in the corner. No shot materializes. And a pinch off. Godsmill and though now over into the midfield. Here comes Nolly onto the back wall. Magnus should have this one clean and off to the side. And they'll stave off another scoring opportunity. Though, though, nearly the shot placement. Nolly finds it in. Finally, they find a way through TSM's defense. This is a one goal game. They actually give themselves a pretty decent chance here. Though, that's a dangerous ball. That's right in the top right corner. I mean, it. There's a small window, and that's what pulls the defender out because it was basically unsavable if that was going to be in because it was just such a strong shot from such an awkward angle. You know, the guy in the goal line is thinking, all right, this is going to go to the middle of the net or a slow one into the bottom right that I can oh. definitely reach. And they give themselves a chance here. Molly had a flip reset following the kickoff, but didn't get a strong enough touch to the goal. 
With 14 seconds left, one goal game. Can Singularity find a way back into this? They got the pressure. It's You're joking. just too high. Remco gets it away, carries it over the follow-up shooter, gets it past the back line as well. Can he find a security goal? I don't think it's going to happen here, but it's going to fall. Yes, TSM bounce back, stave off the last-minute equalizer. What a finish. Great game for TSM to come back in a, for a win. Singularity, they, they have five shots here to six, but to be honest, uh, they only had one at about the two-minute remaining mark. So TSM generally doing a much better job of keeping Singularity under wraps in this game, except uh, right towards the end where they strung together a couple shots. But what's unfortunate is that miss right there from Godzilla mm. as Mogus just punched it up towards the back wall. Again, th there's no pressure right here. As soon as Metsonoris gets demoed right there, this is a free clear for Godzilla, and he just mistimes it or doesn't have the perfect angle up there and misses the kick out into the corner, and that ends up being the difference maker. Yeah, for sure. And it, it, it's... I think that there still is pressure, though, because the because it's a demolition and not a bump, Magnus feels completely free to just... I, I can just be aggressive. I can just drive forward and just, just, just put pressure on him because it's easy for me to bail out. I'm not double committing with anybody, you know? So he does put a little bit of pressure on him, but I absolutely agree with you that Godzilla has to make the touch. Any touch. Any touch there is good, and they would be able to get that one away. Now we do go into game four here. Most of our series where where a team is, is, is playing well, and we're a, or most of our four game series, it is game three that the teams will drop. If a team goes up by two, they chill out a little bit in game three. The team that is on, that is got their backs against the wall, manages to bounce back. So I'm curious to see how Singularity responds. Do we get them finishing off here in game four, which would give me a lot of confidence in this roster, or are we going to game five and TSM's making this really close? Well, what's interesting, I, I think there's actually a pretty decent case to be made for Game 5. TSM, after what was basically a terrible Game 1, have been slowly but surely making adjustments. The big thing I want to see them change to really make sure I can feel comfortable saying they can make a Game 5 is having better backboard defense. They're still having to use way too much boost uh, to go up and get the balls that are on those uncontested backboards, and I think it's making it tough for them to hang onto the ball out of their own half. Ooh, though reached for that but didn't make it happen and I, I agree with what you're saying but at the same time Magnus's goal line defense has been strong enough that even if he is using a ton of boost to do it it's he's always getting the clear and it never seems to be mm -hmm. a strong follow-up from singularity so what they're doing is working and we'll see if they can keep it up they just got to make sure they keep the scoring going because that was definitely where they struggled the most in games one and two only putting up a one goal it's not only a carry across one Remco passes to Magnus. Those got a response, but there's no second touch. Now Godsmill around this corner. Magnus on the backboard this time. Gets it back down, and Magnus continues to just try and get this away from his back third. He's been doing short little loops in the corner. Molly plays it out across the goal. Oh, now here back we go. down. Though onto the backboard. No one's home. Metzenars gets there just in time. Nolly's not able to make this, the touch, and then Remco. Continues to develop it at midfield. Nice little flip cancel touch. Back down Remco. Okay. Flicks this one high. Nolly, does he have the read? Gets one touch. Gets two. Blocked Ooh. by Metzenaris. What a valiant effort from Nolly. But Metzenaris knew what was happening. Defended it. Respected that he could possibly make that touch and gets the save. Nerves of steel for Metza to not jump early and just let that one come down. I, I know I would have panicked on the goal line. So a brilliant save. But still, the pressure from Singularity slowly getting there. But as you said, that goal line defense, it's been good enough. It's Magnus trying to put pressure on Godspell. Not able to find any though. Gets off the wall. Godspell comes in. But Magnus dives from behind to take the ball away from the shooter. Now 244. Remco off oh, the ceiling. Those up onto the backboard. Remco should have this one. Godspell was nowhere to be seen. Now Magnus, long way down the field. Nolly with the counter touch, a perfect clear to the corner. Those got to try and stretch for this. Remco keeps the pace on the ball, gets it out to Magnus, who rotates it all the way back around. The ball's been touched three times and done a full lap of the field. We're across halftime, no goals in game four. A very close series ever since game two. And TSM has had some pretty decent spacing uh, on Singularity's first touch when it's coming out of that singularity half. If they're going for a dribble, they're kind of waiting to see if they pop it high and go for that air dribble, or if they try and bring it down and trap it 
to dribble it on the ground. I think TSM's got some pretty great spacing as they're going for those first touches coming out of Singularity. It's stopping Singularity from building that pressure on offense or at least getting something started. Yeah, no, the Singularity has struggled to get more than one, maybe two good shots and a drive mm. and the own goal. No, as you hate to see it as Remco puts enough pressure on Godspill to make him crack. Godzmilla definitely pulls himself off the line there, sees Remco come out of his blind spot just from the right-hand side of his screen, thinks this is a free ball, no one's up there to go get it, and then sees Remco dive across, but by then it's too late, he's already turned forward, and so he can't uh, go across and get that ball, just has to try and make the side flip to save it, but he's too far out and own goals it. No, and it was, I believe, already in either way, so just a failed save rather than a unearned own goal. But with 120 left to go, game five becoming more likely now as TSM takes another lead. Magnus putting more pressure on Nolly. He gets it off to the side, isn't able to find the second touch. Metzenaris plays it to the corner. Godsmilla with an attempt. Although this touch of midfield, not the best. Godsmilla tries to take away control, but Nolly didn't look ready for that either. And now the touch is into the midfield. Metzenaris over the top of the front line. Back to the corner, though with an adjustment. TSM seems happy to play keep away right now. This ball comes back down for Nolly. Gets it through two, but Remco up against Godspiller. Killed in the midfield. Metzenaris will take up control. Can he find the pass across? He does, but the block comes through at the point of contact. Now, though, getting hounded from behind. Got one player in front. Loses control to the corner, though. Won't be able to find a shot. Nolly comes in. Gets it through one. Metzenaris a little bit loose, but grounds himself and flicks mm. Godsmilla to keep this one away. Now, though, trying to find Nolly. Gets it across, but it's high into the goal. Remco doesn't make enough contact. Nolly thought he was going to. Went for the dunk and missed. And 15 seconds left. Godsmilla now back out across one. Metzenaris plays it high and Godsmilla to the corner. Final nine seconds. Though, back at midfield up against Remco. Sent to the mid. Metzenaris extends it. Holding on control. Gets it into their backfield. And that one should be the game here. Though will try to get this one back around. But Remco's up to try and kill it. Does so. And we go to game five. And DSM forced a game five, despite a couple of solid approaches on the goal from Singularity. TSM definitely doing a good job challenging in the midfield and preventing a lot of that offense from building up. But there were definitely a couple good looks at the net, a lot of touches towards the backboard where they would have to make a tough save. The demo or the sweep across would come on the goal line. And uh, so I know had one of those shots 0 for 4 here in this game. And a tough break for Singularity, as this is the one that did him in. There's it is. Gosmilla turned out as he was rotating across goal line. You'll see him turn forward right there, and then there comes Remco over his head, and he just can't make it back. And tough break for Singularity. One mistake is all it takes in TSM force game five. Yeah, it's got a. It, it feels so bad when you know you were literally. He shot the ball basically straight at you. Was there was a yeah. number of things you could have done that would have kept that golf that ball from going in, but it said it actually continues to roll in despite the contact. And yeah, Singularity, they give them game five. Man, I the thing I want to see from Singularity is, is, is the ability to follow up on your first touch. We've seen so many good challenges, good midfield play, and also just good, like this is a great clear, great development, but there's just never a second touch after that, especially from a single player. If they get the one touch or the one flick or something like that, they really struggle to find anything afterwards, and almost always we're seeing TSM get the ball for free after that. I want to see them be able to hold onto the ball for just a little bit longer. I think that's what they have to do to close out this series. Yeah, it's been pretty tough for him, though, because TSM definitely has started doing, uh, again, I, I was touching on it a little bit, much better job in the timing of challenges out of that midfield, stopping TSM, uh, Singularity, excuse me, from getting that offense going. And they're trying to start it off, and I think Nolly, trying to get out of Godzilla's way, ended up just tipping that ball out. So tries to extend it. Magnus. Good attempt as well. Looked for Nolly and Net didn't find anything. Godsmill the slow play. Baits it over Mott and Metz and head. And there's a follow up from Tho. Remco. The midfield will try to shut it down. Though with an excellent adjustment. Gets it through two. Metz on the goal line. Makes this touch over to the corner. And now trying to follow it up himself. Nolly looks for the demolition as he rotated out. But Metz is able to dodge it and get the ball to the corner. Remco. Quick reaction. Flies up the wall. Makes the stop. And keeps this ball in enemy territory. But Nolly able to get it over one and demolish Magnus. That's an RS and we'll that's just that, put counter pressure on. And that's that inability to hang on to the ball that you were talking about. Sure, he beats the guy, but the demo comes through and it stops him from being able to get that follow up touch. And TSM has been doing a much better job at that. So you're absolutely right. Nolly in the midfield up against Magnus. 
the first minute comes and goes in game five and a shot here comes though to try and finish it remco gets it high nolly in the corner can't make the touch godsmill it now through one remco back down to the corner though tries once more gets the demolition on remco but not before he made contact rem metzanaris kills it in the midfield here comes Remco off the respawn, past one, looking for a second touch to get it past Nolly. He gets it off to the corner. A nice hand-holding touch, the save just to push it off to the edge. It's good enough to keep us scoreless here in game five. Ooh, Bo definitely blindsided there by Betson Metze in the midfield and Nolly trying his best. Okay, so here you go. How do you win this? Finally through one, makes the block, but do they have the continuation? They have one continuation, but a bit of a double commit between Godspell and Nolly on offense means that Nolly's not in the place to help him out afterwards. Though now into this corner, it's enough of a fake on Remco to give position to Godsmilla. High to the corner once more. Magnus is clear, blocked by Nolly. Here comes Godsmilla once again. The shot is good. Magnus makes the save as he moves back in the net. Nolly will try again. Here's the third shot from those still oh. high. And so many shots from Singularity just above the money. And again, an, another couple of good saves from Magnus as well. He's having a solid defensive series, a couple of big stops on some tough touches, but Singularity shooting accuracy, definitely the one coming back to haunt them the most. So it's through one, across halftime. Godsmilla, pressures onto the backboard. Metzenaris with a miss though, pushes it back towards the goal, but Remco makes the stop. And now the clear. Godsmill in the midfield, Denali pops it high, Godsmilla follows, can he find the shot? No, Metzenaris gets in his way, though now, uncontested, onto the backboard, gets the setup, Remco with a read, and now a stretch to Metzenaris over the top of Nolly. Metzenaris looking for the aerial reconnection here and couldn't find it, Remco keeps Ooh. it on the ground, what a play, but Nolly just holds his ground, doesn't flinch for a moment, it makes the stop, two offensive players in the midfield, leaves Godsmilla all alone, but those able to retreat, make a stop, Godsmilla off of his wall, and Nolly with the clear down the field. 145 left to go. Still nobody gaining an inch. Nobody gaining an inch is right. And though he's definitely still trying to be that midfield nuisance that he was at the start of the series. But nobody on either team really Ooh. able to pick up the slack in terms of the offense. It's kind of just been poked back and forth here for the last 30 seconds or so. And we'll see if it comes down to a mistake or a big play. Nolly over the top of one. As we approach the final minute, Nolly looks for players in the goal line, doesn't find anything. Remco will play it straight downtown. As Godsman looks for Nolly, but Magnus, better read, better flight as well, gets there first. Now, though, having to do work by himself, gets a second touch. There's a follow-up, and Metzenaris in the corner will try to pick this one up. Godsmill a through one not enough boost to stretch after this. Magnus will find a clear, though, and Nolly in the corner together. And Nolly with a stretch over the top of one. Metzenaris nearly beat. This one dropping dangerous, but Godsmilla too far back. He won't have the winning touch. 40 seconds left. Remco to Magnus on the side. Oh. It's wide, and the follow-up is beamed. Nolly, can he find, though, on the counterattack? Metzenaris oh. shuts him down. Godsmilla, slow play, though, pops it up. Now he'll hold on to it, to the back wall. Gets two defenders out with it. Nolly now. With 20 seconds remaining, the pass out. Godsmilla there, no, over the edge. Though, onto the wall, Metzenaris will get it back to midfield. Though, passes across, Godsmilla thinks about it. Now onto the wall. He's got Nolly in the midfield, just goes for the shot himself. Magnus with a miss, but Remco's got the save. Nolly, as the ball lofts to the midfield, though, has got to make a stop, gets it through two. It's going to get one more bounce out of this, and it comes back down overtime in game five. Last time we saw Singularity in this position, Godsmilla forced an own goal out of KDOP. It doesn't look like we'll see that off of kickoff, at least. And he also Godsmill put away the overtime winner in game two. He sure did. He's back up. Godsmilla back down. Onto the backboard, Remco gets it away. And if I remember that Vitality series correctly, all of their wins actually came in overtime. Correct. We'll see if they can keep that success going. Godsmilla. In the midfield. Over one. Though, in this corner. He's trying to find a way through that backline TSM defense. A miss from Nolly opens up space. Metzenaris to the corner. Godsmilla and Nets got to make the touch. Gets it out, but Nolly's not there. Remco's got it instead. 
Big building pressure from TSM. Metzenars with a read. Keeps his one lofted. He's got so There's much Magnus. boost to work with as Magnus comes in for the shot. Nolly makes a stop. And Metzenars stretched back to this. Decides to rotate out. Leaves space for Remco. And Nolly gets it to the midfield. A nice touch. Now God Smilla with the attempts. The misses. The defense. Here's Nolly. Trying to make <laughs> something out of this. Godzilla is just like, get this ball out of my half, please. And just bombed it up the pitch so that they could reset. He's like, I don't care if we hang on to it or not. This is bad. I genuinely just want to play some offense for a moment. It's not like he's got maybe just enough to get it through. And finally, it's into the orange. That's Norris to the corner. Godzilla back. Those shot a rocket that oh. Remco saves on the crossbar. That's Norris. Now through one, Godsmilla counters. Nolly quickly turns on this, trying to force a bad touch out of Remco, but doesn't get one. Remco staying strong. And now Tho through up. two, onto the backboard again. Metzenaris with the attempt. Godsmilla puts it there. Nolly through the air, but Remco has just been absolutely stalwart on defense. Oh, a miss dear. from Magnus opens up space. Godsmilla's got a full tank. It's underneath Metzenaris. Now Tho through the air. Bates in Remco. Remco gets enough of a stop again. What? Another miss from Magnus. What? And Godsmilla just takes his time. The boost game has to be tragic right now for TSM as Magnus, the only player with a full tank, can't seem to make contact. TSM, Here comes what Godsmilla. is going on? They're trying. As Dogus has passed back across, Remco could maybe make a shot, but Nolly's up in time. Though, pass one. That's Nolly it. versus Metzenaris for the win. Off the backboard, Godsmilla oh! tries it. Remco <laughs> comes out of nowhere. Still makes the save. How does he read this? I don't know. And now looking for the counterattack. The flip reset towards the goal. Nolly makes the stop. 235 into overtime, and we keep going. Oh, boy, did I write them off. I thought they were dead with that two-on-one. They went for the one extra pass, and that bought enough time for Remco to make it back. Kicked into the middle. Here's Nolly. Oh, ripped towards the goal. Yes! That will do it. Takes him a couple tries, but singularity get it done. In five games, though, recognizes Magnus is the only threat. Paves the way. Makes a golden brick road. Team Singularity score it, and they make it in five, two overtimes to their name in this series. Both of them one to zero.